BBC Television presents... Hancock. By the way, Sid, have you got yours yet? Yeah, I like a cup of tea, tar very much. Milk and two sugars. No, the new British passport. It's part of our culture, our heritage. A royal blue British passport at last. Forty years we've had those little red johnnies, and I, for one, am glad to see the back of them. Get on, passports are red, ain't they? Mine's still red. For living in the past, Sid, they were only red because of the EU, that bunch of socialist and communist fellow travellers. The British passport was red only because they are reds. Come see, come sir, communista. <laughs> no, we've taken back control. It's British blue now, the colour of the flag. Rule Britannia, Britannia rules the world. <laughs> But the Union Jack is red, white and blue, ain't it? Yes, I know, but the important bits are blue, aren't they? It's mainly blue with little bits of red on a white background. Forget the red and white, they're extras to fill the whole thing up. <laughs> All the colours are important, Hancock. It's the Union. The Unions. Don't start me off on that one. That's what caused it all in the first place. We wouldn't be in the EU if it wasn't for the Unions, would we, Sid? <laughs> uh, but what I'm saying, strictly... We're not blue. The blue stands for Scotland. England are red. The cross of St. George. <laughs> That's exactly the sort of talk I would expect from a socialist, Sid. No, we English are true blue, like the sea and sky in England. And policemen. <laughs> Scotland have sea and sky too. Well, London on a smoggy day then. No blue. It's the royal blood. The English aristocracy are blue bloody, Sid. Nevertheless. We are going back to the old blue passports before we were taken over by the wretched EU, Napoleon and all that in balaclavas. <laughs> well, I'm sticking to me red passport. I paid 75 nigger for it. And it's got another four years left to run. I want me money's worth. How oh, very thrifty. But I'm sorry to have to inform you, Sid. It's no good. They'll let you into the EU with that one. But they won't let you back in the UK. It has to be blue like mine. Only blue will do. <laughs> I don't believe that lot of pony. I'm a British citizen, Hancock. Same as what you are. Just because I've got a red passport doesn't make me a second class citizen. Come on, come on, where's your proof? Where's your proof that you're British? No, this is the proof. The British blue passport. Without which you could be any old old dog, blah, blah, blah. Any old hobbledy hoy from the rest of the world. One look at you, Sid, and they'll put you back on a boat. <laughs> All right, you've convinced me. Where can I get one of those blue ones from then? Just nip along to the passport office, P.O. Box 767, Islington, North West 1. Yes, Sid, get yourself a good British passport that's made to last. <laughs> Maybe I'll get some money back in part exchange from my red one. Not a chance, mate. They'll only have to burn it. They want your money. That's why they brought it out. If Dominic Cummings had his way, it would be a different colour every year. Wait a minute. What's this? It says Poland on their new passport. What on earth does it say Poland on a British passport for, Sid? They must think I'm Polish or something. Look, it says made in Poland. <laughs> Perhaps you are Polish, Hancock, and nobody ever bothered to tell you. They must think you are and given you a Polish passport instead. <laughs> you can laugh, but I can't understand it, Sid. This must be a mistake. I'm 100% Anglo-Saxon. Well, perhaps I've got a touch of Viking on my mother's side. No, I'm not having this. They think I'm an illegal immigrant in my own country. I'm going straight down the passport office and thrash this out. <laughs> Good morning. What can I do for you? Well, my good man, I've come to return my Polish passport. Oh, you're Polish, are you? Oh, that's nice. What part of Poland do you come from? I don't come from any part of Poland on account of I'm not Polish. Hang on a mo. You just said you were Polish. No, you're in the wrong department. The Polish embassy is down the road. I'll show you. <laughs> Not one part of me is Polish. You must want your eyesight checked, my good man. Can't you see I'm from a long lineage of British citizens? Anyway, I bought this passport here just a couple of days ago, so I'm returning it here. Take it back or I'll call the police. Yes, all right. If so, we'll just keep his ear on, because we've been told not to tolerate any abuse. See the sign. Let's start again. 
Why have you got a Polish passport then? I was hoping you were going to tell me that. You gave this Polish passport to me, don't you remember? My hands were tied, I had no choice. Oh, I didn't tie your hands. No, it's not possible. We only issue British passports. Let's have a look at the one you got. It looks identical to all the others, you ask me. Here, I don't want it. You can keep it. That's one of ours. It's a British passport, silly. <laughs> How can it be a British passport? It clearly says it's made in Poland. <laughs> yes, it's made in Poland. They all are, but it's still a British passport. That's where they come from. They come in boxes. <laughs> well, there you are then. That's exactly what I've been saying. I wish to return this Polish passport in exchange for a British one. Made in Britain. <laughs> you can't. We don't make them here. Well, who does then? Poland makes them. It says so. It says made in Poland. That's in Europe. <laughs> I know it's in Europe, but how can it be a British passport if it's made in Poland? I don't want a European passport. We've Brexited. I don't know. It just says I accept it. I only work here, you know. You're asking a lot of difficult questions. I'm only a counter clerk. I failed GCSE geography. I did modern art at A-level and I failed that too. <laughs> Very well. But will you be able to send me a British passport in the post? I'm flying abroad next week. But, could you help me now? Am I officially a British man living in the UK, travelling on a Polish passport, or a Pole living in the UK with a British passport made in Poland? I don't know. Ask me another. I'll ask my mum when I go home, or my manager when he gets back. Well, where is he now? You won't believe it. He's in Poland, as a matter of fact. He's gone on holiday. He always goes to Poland. That's why there's gossip going round. That's why the passports are printed over there. But it's a secret. I mustn't tell anyone. Well, why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> did the mandarins in Whitehall sort you out with a British passport then, Hancock? They most certainly did not, Sid. Typical civil servants. They took something extremely simple and made it impossible to comprehend. I've decided that the only solution is to find someone to make me a genuine British passport here in good old Blighty. If the Poles can do it, why can't we? What would Mr Farage say? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Here it is in the yellow pages. Patriotic passports for people who don't live in Poland. That must be it. 01674 435 202. So, oh, is that patriotic passports for people who don't live in Poland? Good. Now, I'm looking for a British passport that's actually made in the UK and not in another country, mentioning no names. I don't care what country it comes from, as long as it's Britain. Except the Isle of Wight. I went on holiday there once and got food poisoning. <laughs> well, certainly, sir. We'll be happy to oblige. All our passports are handcrafted by British tradesmen using traditional methods developed here in the UK. I'll be right over and show you some samples. <laughs> Hello, Mr Hancock. I'm Mrs Jakinski. It's nice to meet someone who cares passionately about our wonderful country and is prepared to back its passports by buying British. Indeed I am, Mrs Jakinski. I'm British through and through, and if I was a stick of Brighton rock, I'd be red, white and blue and read ye olde England all the way through. <laughs> Good, we're on the same page. Now I've got several sample British passports for you to look at. Firstly, do you want a crochet cover for your passport or one without? We've got some top-class crocheters, you know. Crocheters? <laughs> now, let me see. Without, I think. I've never been a fan of crochet. My girlfriend had a crochet dress once, and I kept getting me zips. Me zip caught up in it. It's full of holes, you know. <laughs> so, what colour would you like? I do passports in green, pink, tangerine and purple. The pink one is our most popular line. <laughs> I was thinking more blue. The British passport is supposed to be blue. Call me old-fashioned, but I'm a stickler for tradition. Surely you have one in blue, Miss Jakinski. Oh dear, I'm sorry, we've run out. 
but there's a new batch coming in a few days. Blue is our second most popular line. Blue for a boy and pink for a girl. Yes, of course, madam. Well, put me down for a blue one with the stipulation I must have it by next week as I'm flying abroad. Absolutely fine, Mr Hancock. One blue passport, no crochet cover. Now, do you want scented pages? And for a blue passport, I recommend either lavender or violet. <laughs> Hmm, let me see. Lavender, I think. That used to be my mother's favourite perfume. The house used to reek of it. I couldn't get the smell out of me air. Next, what sort of pattern do you want on the cover and on the inside pages? We do patterns in Tartan, Gingham, Zebra and Jackson Pollock. Well, I was thinking a bit more traditional, like a lion and a unicorn and a crown and a coat of arms and stuff, like the Queen. Unfortunately, Mr Hancock, the Queen won't let us have all those things. I'll put you down for a zebra one then. They're just like unicorns, but without the horns. Well, they've all got four legs, I suppose. Well, if that's all you've got, it will have to do, won't it? Now, finally, are you planning on pressing flowers in your passport? Where are you going, Mr Hancock? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm planning on going to Holland. Oh, goody. Do you want to press some tulips in the leaves of your passport? <laughs> well, thanks very much for offering, but I don't think I do. I'd like to go to Holland, please. We don't do holidays. You want a travel agency. You've come to the wrong place, sir. Lots of people think you can buy a home at the home office, too. You misunderstand me. I don't want to purchase a holiday. I already have one. I want my passport stamped so I can leave the country and go to Holland. No, that's all right. You don't need my permission either. You just turn up at the airport and they look you up and down and unless you're a terrorist, they'll stamp your passport and put you on the plane. Oh, I see. There was me thinking I had to check my passport in with you first so you can bash it with that old rubber stamp of yours and say my passport is bona fide. I thought we'd already sent you one and it would be already stamped. Wait a minute, I remember you. You were being a bit daft about your passport we made in Poland. Never mind, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Wait a minute, why has your passport got zebras on it? And it smells of lavender. <laughs> yes, nice, isn't it? It's my new British passport, custom made in good old Grand Britannia. <laughs> it's not one of ours, though. It's a toy. It is not a toy. I'll have you know I had it made specially. It's handmade. I wanted a real one. It cost me over £100. Oh, no, it's not a real one. You can't make your own passports, you know. There's laws about it. The courts frown very heavily on forgers. It's 30 years in the scrubs. <laughs> I didn't make it. I asked this nice lady to make my passport. Mrs. Jakinski. <laughs> I know her. She's from Poland. We've had dealing. No, she isn't. She's a nice lady and true blue British, through and through, like me. It takes one to know one. Well, we know Mrs Chikinski. She's a forger. That passport is a fake. You could get arrested. They'll strip search you for drugs as well. I'm not having that. I only want to go to Holland. Holland? Oh, that's where all the drugs come from. I'm going to press my emergency button. Just you wait. Your emergency button? Well, what does that do? Get off me, get off me! What on earth do you think you're doing? Ah, oh. So what happened at the passport office then, Hancock? I got arrested and charged with being an illegal... An illegal... An, an, an illegal immigrant. <laughs> Forgery. Associating with a known felon, resisting arrest, assaulting a policewoman and having an out-of-date parking ticket on me car. <laughs> Is that all? Well, never mind, Hancock. I've got something nice for dinner that will take your mind off things. Like what exactly? Here it is. Polish sausage and cold beetroot soup. <laughs>